Alright guys, how's it going? So generally you'll find when rigging, you always need to mirror some bone. Nine times out of ten you work in symmetry, so for example a human symmetrical, same with an animal. So I'm going to show you a few methods how we can mirror bones and how we can duplicate them. So let me just quickly create an armature, and it's going to be the worst armature in the world. So I'll just jump into edit mode, and I'll just extrude a couple of bones out. So something like that. Let me just move these over so we're not sitting perfect on the origin. We'll do it the old school method first. So let's change the pivot point to the 3D cursor. So we can check this in our properties tab by going to view and you can see the 3D cursor bang on the zero axis. So let's box select all the bones. We'll press shift and D to duplicate so we get something like this. Control and M to mirror and then we can mirror on the X axis. And that's one method how to mirror bones. So let me undo this and let me just show you another method. So we're back to the original bone setup. And the reason I want to show you this is because the pivot can come into play. Let's select all the bones. Let's right click and you'll see it here. Symmetrize. I'll call it symmetry because I'm an idiot when it comes to speaking. Now when we click it, you'll notice nothing happens. Now the reason for this is we've not gave the bones the right naming convention. And what do I mean by that? Well, let me just show you. Let me select all the bones. Let me go to armature, names, and you can see it here. Auto name left slash right. Now if you take a look up here in the armature box, when I go to names, you'll see that it's added a dot R. And that basically tells Blender this is the right hand side. So this time when we right click, we can go to symmetrize. You can also come up here in armature. Watch what it does. Pretty much the exact same effect, but this time it will actually rename the opposite side bone.l. So that's a pretty fundamental way how you can mirror bones or use symmetry in this case. Now one thing you might need to keep in mind is your origin point when you're using symmetry. So for example if my origin point, well, let me just show you actually it's probably easier. Go into object mode, go to object, set origin and I'll do origin, origin to geometry you see that the origin has now changed. So this time when I jump back into edit mode, I right click, do symmetry. Now just always keep that in mind, the origin point actually plays a pivotal role in that regard. So hopefully that's been of use. It's that time again guys, do me a favour, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, you know what to do. Peace.